The reconstruction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. It looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. Our contact assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Albion? Not sirs? What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. Oh, come on now. What else is there? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me. Hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Sure me. I'm not who you think I am. Your man, a sirs officer, and a lazy fucking twat. That's, that's not me. I swear to God, please, please. I can't do nothing while this man is being tortured. Bugly, drop a pin on my map, please. Oh. 
Calm down. I'm with DeadSec. You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. I just saved you, dipshit! No, you've just damned us both. Look, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. No, how about you explain everything? My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. All right. We'll have Bagley check the intel. Don't make me regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. I'm undecided on him as a man, spy and all, but we should check his information. All right, one second. All right, Bagley, check his intel, then get everyone together for a briefing. I'll go along with what the group decides, but I don't like this. We should walk out here. You're just bloody wrong. He needs a helping hand. May I present the third option? Just use him. An SRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arseholes that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Good idea. All right. I'm here. Are you ready to begin? Here's the gist. Malik's intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order, and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader... Right. Right, knock off the boss and Zero Day will follow. But why us? Why now? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet bloc depot. 
but it never left London. Which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. We need to get hold of the personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover-up. Then Malak and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the comm to observe. So if Malik's right, Zero Day are some kind of shadowy cabal of spies who blew up half the city to secretly take control of the government. But now they're pissed off that someone's standing up to them, so they're going to do it again. That's awful. I agree. You'd think they'd come up with something besides another bombing. Bit of a double beat, isn't it? Think Zero Day's trying to teach us a lesson again? Because we're fighting back? Cut that victim-blaming shit. I'd rather get blown up a thousand times than lie down just so some wannabe tyrants can stamp on my face. Hello, hello. Someone else sloughed off work and now it's your turn. Okay, cool. What I needed. We're here. You're stealing Sir's personnel dossiers. The organization is strictly compartmentalized, so they aren't stored in one central location. Cool. So we're spying on spies. Love it. Wait, so how are we going to do that? Sir's uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government, or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Fuck me sideways. You can be horrified if you want, but it saved thousands of lives. Get access to a filament terminal and I'll provide you with the search terms.
Nothing to report so far. So this is filament. Impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail, unless of course Malik has an idea. There. I persuaded filament security to log that Spiderbot's activity as system maintenance. Thanks. How suspiciously helpful of you. It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils like DeadSec to protect society from the greater ones. So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? There are 